let's graph the line y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1. Now this is written in slope intercept form. That's y equals mx plus b. What that means is that you can read the slope and y-intercept directly from the equation. The thing added or subtracted from the end is the b, or y-intercept, which means we're going to start this line, start drawing it at least, from positive 1. Now your y-axis is the up-down axis on your grid, so just find positive 1, which is here between 0 and 2, and put a dot there. Great, that's the y-intercept, so far so good. Now the number in front of multiplied by x is the slope. Now my slope here is negative 2 over 3. If you have a negative in front of the fraction itself, not on the 2, it you can actually just move it to the 2. A negative in front of the fraction or on the numerator is the same fraction. Uh, and I think it's going to be clearer to you what direction to go in if you write that negative in the numerator. A negative means you're going to go down to as you run some distance. The run or denominator of this fraction happens to be 3. <clears throat> now I've kind of skipped by saying the word down out loud there. Slopes are, by definition, rise over run. And so the negative 2 here is how far up and down you're going as you do this amount of run, which I treat as always to the right. Please note, I said put the negative in the numerator if there is one there. That way my run is always positive and to the right, and then the negative here controls whether or not you're going up or down for your rise, okay? So from this point that we drew, I want you to go down two squares and right three. I'm going to start here and go down 1, 2, and then I'm going to go right 3, 1, 2, 3. Put a dot there. From that point, we do the same thing. Down 1, 2, right 1, 2, 3. And I've kind of reached the end of my grid here, so I'm going to end there. But I'm also going to backtrack a little bit. Instead of going down and right, I'm going to go up and left. Up 1, 2, and left 1, 2, 3. Up 2 left another three. Cool. Those do look like they lie on a line. You're supposed to have a ruler or something here. We're going to draw a straight line through all those points. There we go. If your straight line doesn't go exactly through all the points, then you may have just counted wrong, so double check. And I put arrows at both ends because lines, by definition, go forever in both directions. There you go. The line y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1 has a y-intercept here at 1. And then we use down 2, right 3 from the slope to generate more points on the line. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.